The FIA has shared the latest evolution of the 2026 Formula One car after the World Council approved the regulations, allowing teams to begin wind tunnel studies starting from January 1st. The Agile cars, as they have been named by Nicholas Tombazis, technical director of the FIA's single-seater department, have undergone several layout changes compared to the renderings released in June following the presentation of the regulations concerning the chassis. The teams contributed to reviewing certain aerodynamic aspects of the cars to increase aerodynamic downforce and find a better energy distribution throughout the lap. It's important to note that the involvement of the teams has helped make the 2026 cars more aligned with expectations, both in terms of design, definitely more aesthetically pleasing, and performance, ensuring that Formula One remains the technological pinnacle of global motorsport. Upon a first look at the renderings, a different interpretation of the wings emerges. The nose is no longer almost lying on the first of the three profiles of the front wing, but is slightly raised thanks to two supporting fins. This has increased the airflow under the chassis to improve the air filling directed to the floor. The front wing maintains the three elements that make it up, but the movable flap will have a greater cord with a more curved design. Important changes are seen in the outer part of the side pod, which will create a channel for the outwash of the airflow thanks to the introduction of a new flow deviator that will certainly help modify the wake of the front wheel. The rear wing also seems to be characterized by three elements, with the leading edge not being straight but instead showing a slightly arrow-shaped design, and the second element's cord significantly increased to offer more adjustment options with active movements. The side pods have also been revised, with an extension of the surface and a curvature more similar to today's designs. The drag reduction system actuator that appeared in the June sketch has rightfully disappeared in the most recent rendering. The floor has been completely redesigned. It initially showed a raised rib compared to the completely flat floor extending towards the rear and following the prominent barge board introduced behind the front wheel, echoing a concept closer to the F1 cars of 2021. This flow deviator was very simple, and its purpose was to guide the losses caused by the turbulence generated by the front tire outward, but now it can contribute to generating local downforce. The floor has therefore become perfectly flat, showing a diffuser elbow that seems to rise earlier than in the original version, and even the Coca-Cola zone appears more refined, with a much sleeker side pod shape. In this configuration, the thermal management of the power unit no longer happens entirely at the rear, as there are now openings at the root of the much slimmer engine cover, just like today. In the front intake of the floor, there are five flow deviators that were not included in the first regulatory draft. The radiator intake, which is oval-shaped, in this second interpretation, shows a hint of an upper cover extending forward, following the more embryonic solutions proposed for the 2024 Formula One single-seaters. Another noteworthy change is the disappearance of the wheel cover, replaced by a small vent that no longer fully encloses the wheel, providing a pleasing aesthetic effect that could also align with various technical choices. We are therefore approaching the debut of the new 2026 Formula One cars in terms of work in the wind tunnel. These cars are expected to bring more on-track excitement with many more overtakes and battles on the track where they will race. After several weeks since Issue 9, the FIA has released the latest renderings of the 2026 cars, which include some innovations but also errors. When comparing the latest official renderings to those previously shared on social media, there aren't many differences. However, by analyzing the crucial areas of the cars in detail, we can spot some refinements. Specifically, these can be found on the two front and rear wing surfaces. Here, as expected, we will have two configurations, X and Z mode, for high and low aerodynamic downforce. Compared to the unofficial renderings, those recently released by the FIA show some small changes in the profiles. Specifically, the horizontal element on the outer side of the end plate is smaller, and has a more complex geometry. Additionally, the vertical panel has been reduced in height, cut to reduce vortex generation. At the rear, there are also some differences. One of the most notable is the shaping of the flaps, which are now more angular and less rounded. However, this new geometry may not be final and could undergo small variations based on the team's interpretations. The movement of the rear flaps has also been clarified, with the main plane remaining fixed while the two upper flaps are free to rotate. While observing the rendering of the car presented by the FIA, we were able to spot some of the external differences. 
These shapes are, of course, subject to variation, as teams will be able to work on the volumes of the different working areas. However, in analyzing the shapes, a keen eye noticed an error in the rendering production. Observing the front suspension of the new cars, we can see a pull rod setup. This does not indicate that it will be the most effective on the upcoming cars. However, it is precisely on this system that we find an error made by the FIA. Specifically, there is a missing suspension link, particularly on the left side of the car. Formula One's upcoming technical revolution sees vast changes to the chassis and power unit specification on what will be 22 cars tackling the globe's most famous circuits. On the power unit front, there will be an increased focus on electrification and a 50 50 power split with the internal combustion engine and battery-powered elements of the power unit. Moreover, the MGUH will be scrapped and 100% sustainable fuels will be introduced for Ferrari, Mercedes, Honda, Audi, and Red Bull powertrains to tackle. Joining in on the fun in 2028 will be General Motors as the American Marque is preparing its own PU to debut on the third year of the Cadillac F1 project, which is slated to join the grid in two years' time.